No. For hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Yes. One could read that without a ripple in one's teacup. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. You're off at the party, aren't you? Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. Well, 
That's a rather inconvenient bit of history. Little shit. He wants my view. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh, you prove. But where did you go? Are you off your joy, Prue? I mean, you too. behind in our work now that you mention it. the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Smash it! Smash it! You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time!
Christ! I thought those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. And buying, of course, and wandering hither and dither, and marketing and talking about the weather, and smiling and laughing, of course. I insist on. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? I've 
you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our. <clears throat> That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school.
Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. This might be the one Sally and I tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. This doesn't give me food poisoning. Berries! They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. of Gilead. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my... I won't, otherwise I'll never feel better.
A lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want. Oh God! That smells awful in here. Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Oh, that's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. Is this what we've come to? A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me. In that sort of hamlet over there, we'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. 
I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I'll need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have install most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. Miss Bing always said I had a great future ahead of me. Probably said that to half the school when no one was listening. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here.
I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. You. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chaps some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? He's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, some guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Yeah. 
Actually. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. The chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell. And it... I suppose now that no one is actively trying to... I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet-like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Oh, please just like that. <sighs> 